Hello there, my dear moth friends. It makes me happy to know that you are watching again today. I have a minor uh, announcement and discovery. Because uh, when I was in Laos and Cambodia for two months, I've uh, been collecting some cocoons of uh, different Saturnids I found in these countries. And one of these uh, are this species from Laos. I found cocoons of two different Anterea species, one from Cambodia and one from Laos. And currently I'm showing the Laotian species. Uh, I've been talking about the uh, expert of these moths for Asia, uh, a person uh, from Germany named Ulrich, Pauch, uh, Ulrich Paukstad. And Ulrich has a research collection and uh, published a lot about uh, these wild silk moths of Asia. And he thinks this uh, could be Anterea luteofriti, which is a species that looks like Anterea friti and is quite variable. I have many cocoons of this, but this is the first male that hatches. I also had one female. She is not in perfect condition. She has a little bit weirdly shaped wings, but uh, she's pretty enough to be on YouTube. Because, uh, you know, imperfect specimens happen sometimes and still really appreciate these colors. So what we are looking at here is what, what I think could be the Anterea luteofriti. Um, the cocoons of this were found in Luang Prabang, Laos. Strongly resembles Friti, but it's slightly different. It's uh, different from the Friti that you will find in places like India. Really nice moth. So here we had, so this should be the male and female of the Luteo Friti. But there's also something else that I wish to show you because uh, when I was in Cambodia, I collected cocoons of what I thought was the same species but uh, it turns out when they hatch it's something quite different so we will have to take a look of, at this one right now oh I should have opened the cage before I uh, started this video because this is annoying to open right now while holding a camera uh, okay I'm putting the camera in my mouth okay there we go sorry for that Okay, let's open it up. Ah, there we go. And here we have uh, the Cambodian species. So, to me this really looks like a different species. And uh, some of you will say yes, the moths in the Anterea friti complex. They are very far variable, blah, blah, blah. But uh, to make it clear, here we have the one the species I found in Laos. Here we have the moth I found from Cambodia. Laos. Cambodia. And while these species are very variable, as some of you will argue that I'm holding the same species twice, I have some more evidence to present you that uh, could suggest that they are different species. Because, uh, okay, let's put the Cambodian moth here. So, these are the cocoons of the moths from Laos. So, the Luteofriti. Luteofriti cocoons. The Cambodian species. Cambodian cocoons, okay. Now, if we take a look. you will see that the cocoons are different and maybe it's best to see this in a different light okay because uh, there's a color difference actually and a size difference so on top here we have the Luteo Friti cocoons as you can see they are yellow brownish and big and egg shaped and here we have the Cambodian species which has silver cocoons and smaller. These cocoons are also a little bit softer than the tough Laotian. But can you see the difference? Laos, Cambodia. Do you see it? White, 
yellow. So this is, and I'm not saying that you can ID space pieces solely based on their cocoons, but to me this is a strong indication that these populations are two populations of two different species, okay? That's what I think. Now, what are they really? Um, some have suggested they are, and this, the Cambodian one is an undescribed species. Now, that would be very spectacular if that's true, but uh, I don't want to count my chickens before they hatched, okay? I'm not going to scream around and say, Whoa, I discovered a new species before researching, because taxonomy is actually difficult academic work. And it takes things like DNA sampling, uh, having a reference collection, morphology, taxonomy, etc. So, uh, if you're gonna watch my videos, I will up update uh, you on this in the future. I'm gonna bring DNA material of the Cambodian moth all the way to Germany in a place called uh, Wilhelmshaven. And here in Wilhelmshaven, I uh, will bring a DNA sample to uh, Ulrich, who is really an expert, even more an expert than me, because honestly I'm just a hobbyist, but he is a true scientist. So he can help me find out what this really is. And that's it for now. Thank you all for watching, and uh, until next time.